In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite mini schemes from the Atlanta Falcons Offensive Playbook in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Um, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, we post four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help you improve in Madden NFL 21. One of the ways that we do that is through giving away a free offensive scheme every single week. And this week, we are giving away a free Atlanta Falcons offensive uh, full guide. And so we've talked about the shotgun uh, bunch formation. We've talked about the shotgun type flex formation. We've talked about the shotgun spread formation. We've talked about the single back bunch formation as well. And what we're going to talk about today is a red zone mini scheme, something that you can use. This is from two tight ends specifically uh, set that you're gonna be able to use. And so anyways, guys, if my channel interests you, one of the things that I wanna encourage you to do is to go ahead and click subscribe. Clicking subscribe is gonna allow you to know whenever we post a new video. We also live stream every single night. So if you wanna be notified whenever we go live, all you gotta do is turn on the notifications when you click the subscribe is to the right hand side of that button. So I would really appreciate that if you guys did that for me, um, but also do that for yourself because again, our channel I believe really is gonna help you uh, really improve. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the audibles that I like to use from this. And this is a multifaceted scheme. We're gonna run through about several different formations primarily for the runs. Now, the, the formation that we're going to stay most focused in on is the wing stack. So the audibles that you're going to set from the wing stack is you're going to set the HP uh, or the flanker under, the four verticals play, PA fork, and then you're also going to set the play PA double in shot. Uh, those are, the, in my opinion, the best plays from the Atlanta Falcons single back wing stack. Now, wing slot, this is going to be a little bit more um, where we're going to start to really focus in on running the ball. So we're going to set that HB toss. We're going to set the HB slam. Um, I love the uh, slot cross from here. We also have uh, the power O, which is really good. But I like PA misdirection shot. And then they've got uh, this play right here, slot cross. Single back wing, this is going to be another one of those formations we're going to go down. I like the HB toss crack, HB smash. And then I like the PA post dig shot, as well as the um, tight end attack, but you can also put the HB dive in there. Single back A slot, again, more of a, more of a running uh, focused set. We're gonna go with the zone alert bubble. We're gonna go with the HB counter. Uh, and then we're also gonna go with the um, PA scissors flood. And then we've got the uh, post wheel shallow from that formation. Now single back deuce close. This is um, really primarily running formation here. Zone split week. We got the HB stretch. Uh, we're going to run the zone split week. Uh, and then we're also going to run the HB zone week and HB wham. This is kind of our inside running set. Single back wing pair. Uh, we're not going to run that from, for today. And then shotgun. Uh, we're going to leave that as is as well. Now single back wing stack. We're going to actually come out uh, in one run, whatever run that we want to run. Now, what I personally do, uh, because I want to show you the runs first, is I'm going to show you all of these runs uh, really quickly. So I'm going to set them in my audibles. Now, you can put whatever audibles you want from this formation. This is your base formation in this offensive scheme. But right now, we're going to show you HP Belly Week is back. This is one of the better runs in Madden history. Um, but it's really, really good this year, I think, because you get really good blocking from pulling guards different things like that. And so what you're gonna see is this belly week. If I play to this run to the right side, what you're gonna see is you're gonna get a really, really good um, blocking on either which way, either which way you run. If you run to the left or if you run to the right, you're gonna see, you're gonna get really, really clean blocking. Very, very good angles for you to be able to run the ball. Um, it's a little bit longer developing of a run. It's one of those counter trap type runs where it's gonna really be designed to go right down the middle of the defense. If the defense is spread out, this run is going to kill it. Um, now, again, if they're, if they're stacked in, this is what I like about the belly week. The belly week, you can run it inside or you can run it outside. It gives you it's a delayed run. It's going to give you time to make a decision here. But it's literally just a read. Is it open inside or is it open outside? Do I need to cut it? I, it's literally borderline a zone week type of run for me. Um, their Wagner came through the gap there. And people will be able to shoot this run, uh, at least in my experience with this. But um, if they're not good at shooting gaps, this is going to be a great run for you. This is going to be a very consistent run. Um, very, very, very consistent. Uh, but I like it because it has multiple windows that it can hit. 
The other run is more consistent in terms of better against users and things like that, and that's the HB Zone Week. This is the uh, this is one of my favorite runs in Madden of all time. Um, I love this run. This is the wide zone, right? This is the wide zone where you're going to take three steps, put your foot in the ground, and you're going to actually are you going to go up or are you going to go out? I love to set that that little cut up right there, and you're able to typically get this out for really really good gains against a lot of defenses because it's a compressed stacked formation, you're going to get really good blocking from your receivers on this run, and you're going to be able to get to the outside. Like I said, this is primarily uh, what I when I use this scheme, you're going to see that I'm going to typically go to this scheme right in here, right in this pocket, 10 and in, this is my 10 and in scheme, red zone X factor type of deal. Now I'm going to go to the zone week to the right, and what you're going to see here is you're going to get these cutbacks. That's what I like about wide zone. You do not, and this is a cardinal sin of Madden 21. I talked about this when I talked about running the ball. Do not hold turbo until you're through the lane. Do not hold turbo at first. You want to gather yourself, use that depressed left stick to set things up, and then you want to explode once you get the gap. The, the zone week I'm telling you, pound for pound, you're going to be able to consistently get this little cutback lane right there, and you're going to be able to go right into the end zone with this. This is a very, very good run. It's very, very difficult to shoot this run because it's zone weak, wide zone. You're going to get good blocking, but you're going to have these little cutback lanes right there. Now, what I love about the red zone this year, especially on offense, you get really, 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 really good um, reaching animations. If you, if you see right there, that would probably be a touchdown in Madden 21 because they just fall forward. They fall forward uh, for those quick animations on the goal line. So if you're not running the ball on the goal line, I think you're doing it wrong. That's why I love this formation for running the ball uh, specifically on the goal line. Now the next thing I can do is go to the dive, right? The dive is one of the most powerful plays in Madden 21. Um, it's probably the most powerful run in Madden 21. It's just to run straight up 0-1 trap in the dive. Uh, you run dive this year, you're going to be very, very successful, um, especially on the in the red zone and on the goal line. So what you're going to see here is I'm just going to power dive, and I can make this quick cut to the left as you see right there this is all because I don't hold turbo right so I can make a quick cut to the left or I can just power it straight forward here set my blocks up very well and if you have a good running back you're gonna see you're gonna get that reach animation over the top and be able to get in the end zone with that so it's a very very successful uh, running play as well again zone week for my money though is the best overall run now uh, what about other formations well single back wing slot you have this HB quick pitch. Now you can playmaker this to the left or to the right. Uh, you're gonna see here, if I playmaker this run to the left, it actually gets pretty good blocking. You're gonna have to, um, right there, um, Bobby Wagner makes a Bobby Wagner type of play. But what I love about it is the quickness of the motion snap. You're literally gonna see it's gonna move just like that. You're jamming X and you're gonna be able to get that pitch out there, strong power pitch type of running play. Now, I find that this toss is kind of hit or miss. Um, if they're compressing everything in the in the middle of the defense, you're going to want to hit this quick pitch. So like right here, this is a really good look for the toss. And you see here, I'm just going to get outside and get into the um, get in, inside of the five yard line. I love the toss. I love the toss situationally though. Don't spam this. This is not a spam type of run. If they're more stacked to the outside, run it to the left. What you're going to see here is you're going to get that quick shed, and you're going to be able to get into the end zone with Todd Gurley. Um, the toss is a run that is designed to go to the outside. What I love about it, again, is that quick motion. I can play maker to the left immediately, literally as soon as I audible to the play. And then what you're going to see here, what you don't want to do with toss is oftentimes you're not going to want to cut it back this year. In years past, you would want to cut it back. What you're going to want to do is it's literally a toss. You're going to want to follow the run lanes. You're going to get oftentimes this cut block. You're oftentimes going to get a cut block um, from your pulling uh, tackle. What you'll see here is if we run it to the if we run it to the right, one of the other things you can do is you can motion snap this wide receiver. And what you'll see here, if you motion right in here, you're going to get him screaming upfield, and you're going to be able to go. But as you can see there, again, you don't want to cut that up the middle, in my opinion. What you want to do is you want to swing it to the outside, and if the outside run is not there, then you want to go to the HB slam. The HB slam, a very very good run, very very quick hitting. Um, inside type of running play. Bobby Wagner's going berserk right now on me in practice mode, but you will see the HP slam. HP slam is your run audible down um, from this, uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to this in certain set times, you know, but this is an inside run. It's just a standard little inside run, but I think the handoff you get is a little bit more um, quick than from a dive, so that's why I like that run play. 
Uh, single back wing HP toss crack. Now this is probably the best toss that you have. If you want to go to something, this is the power sweep, right? You're gonna get that crack back block. You're gonna get these pulling angles. To me, this is one of the best running plays in Madden 21. This was a good running play um, a couple years ago, uh, and it's back in this year's game because the, the crack back block is going to really seal the edge for you. So when you come, you're just jamming X, get in, and you're going to see this run is going to be very, very consistent for you. Uh, I love this run. The only downside to this run is you have to run it to the right side. You can't playmaker it and run it to the left side as much as I would like to. Well, what you'll see is you're going to get these very, very nice crack back blocks angles. You see how when you run it wide, the when you run it to the when you just kind of sweep sweep it around, it's going to open up very unique running lanes because you're going to get very very good typically cut blocks, pulling animations, um, all that fun stuff. And what you'll see here again, just kind of sweep sweep it around there. That time it was kind of hit or miss, but you'll see that that route or that running play will be very successful for you. Now the next running play I want to talk about is the HP Smash from this. HB Smash from this is like inside zone or wide. It, it's really more inside zone. But I'm going to motion Julio Jones in. This time he's going to go all the way over across formation. And you'll see here, this is a very, very good run. You're going to be able to run it inside. You're also going to be able to run it outside. And that's what makes this run so powerful. Um, you know, you're going to, again, you're going to mix all of these running plays together. But what you're going to find is one of these runs will pop for you inside the red zone. Now, if that doesn't pop, if all of this stuff doesn't pop, you can always go to single back deuce close and you can run the stretch. Um, look how fast the motion is from this. Literally, you're going to go left or right, depending on the, the, the style. And deuce close is pretty good this year, at least in my opinion. It's literally one audible to the right. You're in stretch. You're jamming X, 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 X. And what you're going to see here is you're going to be able to run this inside or outside based on what the defense does. The other run that you're going to want to go to in a, in a pinch is you're going to want to go to that HP Wham. HP Wham is like zero one trap. What you're going to do is you're going to get that little motion from the tight end, and he's going to get that nice little crack back block, and that's a very, very good one-yard play. If you're on the goal line and you need a one-yard play, this is what I would go to this year. HP Wham, you can flip it as well. Um, you'll see here we get, we get down, and we're just going to – uh, flip the play. There's no tell whatsoever. You're flipping the play completely, and now you're just powering right down the middle. Very, very simple, very, very subtle, but very, very solid one-yard play in this year's game. Um, the way defense works is it's very, very difficult to stop the inside run. It's very, very difficult to stop that HB wham this year as you're going to get those key blocks for it's very difficult to stop it in the backfield. You, know, you can contain it, but it's very difficult to stop it in the backfield. Um, all right, so single back, a slot. I don't run a ton of that. But you do have a bubble screen, which which is what's really cool about this. So if they're run committing down or they're not they're not being honest, you can just lob this screen out there, and Julio Jones or whoever you get out there, if you got a fast guy, he's going to be able to get out. Uh, one of the things I like to do with the uh, zone alert bubble is if I get the look for it, I'm just going to lob it. So literally snap of the ball here, oh, I get the look. I'm going to lob it out there because I find that they don't turbo. The defense doesn't speed out. It's going to get you an additional probably three to five yards. Uh, from this, but all the runs that you can do from this this playbook with these all together um, are very very effective. So, all right, we're gonna jump into the quick passing as well uh, for this. So we're just gonna go against random plays, uh, but primarily what I'm gonna show you today uh, is gonna be revolving around uh, PA double in flanker under and four verticals we're going to show you all these all these plays now these are specifically um, designed and I will show you some other things that you can do with these but what you're going to see is flanker under is my favorite play I think it's got one of the best quick passes in the entire game you're going to see this little quick pass route to the running back um, it's going to be very very effective literally he's going to quick uh, quick cut in you'll see right here flanker under snap of the ball Right there, you see how he does that. See how he does that little wraparound cut against man to man. So if they're running man to man, which a lot of people will probably run man to man uh, this year, what you're going to see is this flanker underplay against man to man. You see, oh, it's man to man. He's going to cut right to the inside and be very very effective. Now against zone coverage, what you're going to see here is this little flanker underplay is going to be a nice quick pass. It's going to sit right in a very unique spot against the zone. See how he just kind of cuts right across the the, the defense there. Now, one of the things that I like to do out of flanker under is typically I'm going to put this left side drag on a uh, hitch route. It's going to help clear out some zones. 
and you can hit either one of these guys. These guys are very, very good underneath routes in combination with the fact that you've got uh, a fairly effective uh, um, a fairly effective post route here over the middle of the field, click on or snap the ball. Um, and what they're going to start doing is they're going to take – the defense is going to have to choose between the running back route and the tight end route, right, the running back route and the tight end route. So what you're going to see right here is when they take the running back, uh, it's going to open up a lot of things over the middle. So right there, click on, you're going to make that inside catch. That's against man-to-man -man coverage. Very, very, very consistently uh, is going to win against man-to-man -man coverage. You're also going to have everything else that you've you know, really been uh, allowed to have here. Right there, click on. You're going to get that nice post route against man-to-man -man coverage. If they don't, if they if they take that post route, which they probably will, uh, most of the time they're probably going to take the post route. But that's going to allow it's going to allow these underneath underneath reads to be wide open. These little quick reads here to the back are going to be very, very effective against man or zone uh, coverage. And you're also, uh, one of the things that's kind of hidden within this formation is how, how really good these little flat, um, this little flat zone here is to your tight end. Let me show you that one more time here. So let's just say they go to standard, you know, cover three or whatever on the red zone. What you're going to be able to do, this quick flat, you can get out there and get a quick stiff arm. Again, for three yards, be fine. Very, very simple. Now, uh, what about uh, what about the corner route on the left side? What you'll see with this corner route on the left side, it's a, it's a sharp corner route, so it's going to beat man-to-man -to, -man to the outside. You're going to be able to win most of the time. You're going to be able to win to the outside against man-to-man -man coverage. The rest of it really comes down to you know zone drops and different things like that. So what you're going to see is consistently what I find with this is you're actually going to get him into the back of the end zone. Now, again, right there when you get intercepted. But most people, most people are going to run cover two. Uh, most people are going to run cover two. They're going to probably shade coverage down, and they're going to take their safeties, and they're going to put them in the middle of the field because they're trying to stop everything we're doing from the middle of the field. Well, if they do something like that, you know, very, very simple. Got your routes here. And what you'll see is this corner route is going to go to the back corner of the end zone, and you're going to be able to click on and sort of catch that in. That's against cover two defense. If they run cover two on you, you're going to be very, very effective, very, very efficient um, in this red zone type of scenario because um, – uh, from flank or under, you're going to be able to uh, very, very easily pop this little, uh, pop that little uh, corner around the back of the end zone there if you do have time in the pocket. I'll show you that one more time. So he's going to get that nice clean release back corner of the end zone. Click on, and you see how you're going to get that nice aggressive um, little little jumping animation in the back of the corner of the end zone this year. Snap the ball, back corner, let him get to the outside leverage, click on, you see there you're going to be able to get that out there. Again, it's all about getting that leverage on the outside. Now, PA double in shot. Um, this play right here specifically is more of a man-to-man -man kind of if you're if you're if you're facing someone in the in, you know, it's not a great red zone play. It's really more designed for like the 20-yard line. But if they are running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage on you down in the red zone. Uh, this play right here, if you motion Julio Jones to the outside, what you're going to see here with this little quick motion is he's typically going to beat man-to-man -man coverage, especially the shade coverage over top meta that you're going to see. The uh, four verticals play, what I love about this play right here is if you motion Calvin Ridley out, what you're going to see here, man-to-man -man coverage, you're typically going to have one of these streaks over the middle against zone, and then against man-to-man, -man, you're going to have this, um, let's say they run like uh, cover one, but they, let's say they run like press coverage on you. Um, if they run press coverage on you on this right here, motion them out, let them get, let them get a little bit delayed. Don't throw, snap throw to the tight end by any means, but what you're going to see here is very, very simply, if they're running like a cover two man and they're pressing out of it, get Calvin Lee out here, snap the ball, and you can sometimes, you can sometimes get him over the top. If they shade over top, they kind of got you. But against zone coverage, what you'll see is this route against like cover two defense, you're going to be able to hit either one of those seams um, against zone. But you're also going to be able to oftentimes fit this route in right here as a snap throw against like a cover four or cover three or whatever like that. So. This offense really does have more potential. Um, this is what I call an X factor because it's great in the red zone. 
But what happens is if you're wanting to go down to a set to kind of close the game out, this is a great clocking set because you have all those good running plays, but then also you have this route to uh, Julio Jones, and if they're running, you know, if they're running cover threes or cover fours, you're actually going to be able to pop that pop that in pretty consistently. So what they're going to have to do on defense is they're going to have to go to some type of cover um, cover two because if they're in um, if they're in this this coverage right here, you're going to consistently. Um, you're going to consistently be able to beat it if they shade. Now, if they're not shading coverage over top, um, may do a little bit better on this. But overall, you'll see here with Julio Jones, this is um, this is the shade coverage over top look that I'm talking about. So he's going to go in and he's going to get that inside position. For whatever real weird reason, we're not getting our separation here it might be because we're in the middle of the field we maybe as a general rule you do want to run your twins receivers to the wide side of the field that's probably the best way to run this um, if you're willing to flip everything and, and do everything from the other side but what you'll see here is the route to a PA double in shot. out there it is right there you see that right there so if they're not if they're not having a deep blue let's say they don't deep blue uh, so this is kind of a, a little bit of an anomaly but let's just say they don't deep blue right they don't have a deep blue over the top and on a, a safety over top of Julio Jones even if they're shaded coverage down shading coverage up or shading coverage outside shading coverage up what you're going to see here is he's going to absolutely roast man-to-man -man coverage for a one-play touchdown against that if they take the safety away. Now, if they don't take the safety away, he is going to be there uh, to obviously make that play. But what you'll find with this, at least in my opinion, is this makes this play a very, very good add-in to uh, what we're doing. We have this deep cross. We have this smart routed out route, which you see right there. If you can click on there. Um, and you can typically aggressive catch that against the zone. One of the other things that you can do is show you this real quick. PA shot. Again, the other routes will work just fine for you as well. But this specific route does have a little bit of a little bit of a kind of a glitchy animations you're gonna get. It's a very, very delayed route over the middle of the field, but you're gonna get that deep on that double move. He's gonna come back across and really kill man to man. But you also have um, this this quick read right here to Calvin Ridley against man-to-man -man as well. So you've got two options and a combination. You know, also have uh, some quick reads there. But that's PA double in shot flanker under P fork. A um, little bit more of a uh, cover three specific. But what you'll see is because you're in a compressed set, like if they run um, if they run cover three, what you're going to see PA uh, PA fork. Um, what you're going to see here, cover three, step up in the pocket, and you're going to be able to throw this route. Typically, he's going to get that over shoulder, uh, over over the um, over the guy animation. Uh, one of the things that you can do from PA4, especially if you have hot route masters, you can take Lee and put him on a smart routed out route, smart routed corner route. What you'll see here is it's going to pull that, that corner. It's going to be really tender, but you're going to be able to get that over the top. Most of the time against cover three, cover four. Um, if they run, let's show you here. So go P fork, and you're just going to take Hurst here, and you're going to put him on smart rounded out route. Snap of the ball. Corner goes back with him. You're going to throw it up and over the top. Click on, and you're going to get that rack catch over the top for a one play score against cover three. So. Now you're beating pretty much every defense in the game from this uh, little formation here. You've got a nice speed out route to Julio Jones. It's going to be really, really good um, against man, against zone here as well, because you can pass lead it up over the flat zones uh, and all that stuff. So you know, just a really good overall playbook here. The single back wing slot, I love this little play here. You can smart route this route to Calvin Ridley. Uh, really does a good job against man to man. Uh, but you've also got that deep, deep slot cross. Um, and again, it's a very, very quick motion. But this quick slot cross, um, you're going to see against man to man, you get that speed out. Um, right there, probably wouldn't throw that against, you know, compressed man like that. 
but against off coverage man you're going to be fine what you're going to also see within this um, there's just a lot you can do from this formation uh, a lot you can do with these little under center packages this year um, especially you know you can come out maybe in gun bunch and audible down but you see here this slot cross is going to absolutely kill man to man over the middle of the field so you got the cross route you got the post route um, from there you also have this play here pa misdirection slot it's got double crossers it's also got an over route with it, which over routes are so, so effective this year. Um, this little formation from Atlanta is pretty good mini scheme here. Pretty good little X factor formation for you. So uh, anyways, guys, that is our Atlanta Falcons mini scheme. Uh, X factor red zone kind of, you know, two by two ace formation breakdown. So anyways, guys, for those of you that haven't already, I do want to encourage you to go ahead and join our Discord. Discord is the best possible place for you to build community within my uh, YouTube channel because we've got about 300 members over there of people chatting Madden 24-7 all day, every day, um, talking different strategies, tactics, schemes, um, asking questions, answering questions. It's just a great place for you to engage. So if you haven't yet done that, I do want to encourage you right now to go to the description, click join my Discord, and sign up for an account today. Uh, it's very, very easy. It'll take about five minutes. But it's the best possible way for you to take your next step as a Madden player, get around a community, and get better. We're going to see you guys later. We've got more videos coming for you today. See ya.